Welcome back to The Buzz. I'm Stephanie Haney, and today in studio we have Carolina Saivas, who is an award-winning writer, actress, and producer, and a USC alumna. She created a web series, Broken at Love, which won two LA Webfest Awards for writing and lead actress in a soap opera, and she's back with a third season after hiatus. Carolina, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. We're so excited that you're here, and we're even more excited because she has brought us an exclusive sneak peek of season three. That's correct. Let's take a look. What kind of photos should I take with him and post? Well, I think you should have him dressed in a tank top. Okay. And I think you should have something sort of sexy on. All right. And I think he should just be holding you like this, you know. What's my caption? You. What's my caption? Your caption. Um, what's a tennis slogan that we can say? Love match? So Hold in your character's love interest. He's coming back again in season three? I thought he was gone. He is never gone. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> one of those guys who you can never get rid of. Yeah, in season three, we're doing this very interesting show within a show concept. So in season three, she's making a web series now. So Holden Gregory is not only Holden Gregory, but he's now also Peck Williams, which is like his alias, like how we're kind of portraying him in the show within a show. So there's a lot of Holden and, and a lot of new guys and new love interests and new storylines. It's very Hills, the show. Is it a show? Is it a web series? We don't know. Right? Yeah. I was inspired by the Hills when I first started doing this just because I like just relaxing TV, kind of something that was very LA too. And so, yeah, that was part of my inspiration. I thought we were going to go more like reality route when we started too. So you had so much momentum coming mm -hmm. off of season two with those two awards. Yes. Why take the break? Well, after the award show, I there was actually a whole festival um, circuit. After that, I did uh, start and write a, an entire season three. And then I just kind of, nothing was working. We tried casting this one love interest character. I think I went through 20 different actors before we even, <laughs> it, just, it was not working. So I thought it was a sign, you know, take a break. Um, someone in my family was, was sick. And so mm. it all seemed a little overwhelming. So I stopped and uh, my mom and I took a trip to New York in October of that year, which was 2014, mother daughter trip. It was the thing that inspired me and revitalized my inspiration for the show. And after that trip, I knew I had to make season three again, and I knew that we just we just had to do it bigger and better than what I originally intended on doing. So the trip to New York was the inspiration. That's Correct. why we're getting a season three. Yes. So how much is, you wrote an entire season three, so how much different is this season three gonna be different than the original? It's a lot different. I will say that the part of that guy who I couldn't cast that summer, I was determined to keep that <laughs> character. So we did cast him. We got a great guy who, who is in the exclusive clip. Um, I think you saw him. And yeah, uh, so I did cast that. I was determined to get that part back on it. But yeah, a lot of it's changed. It is a lot better than what I thought it could be. And it, it just, it's a lot, a lot more storylines going on than I originally planned, a lot more complicated. I think myself as a writer has improved. And so, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Well, any kind of complication is always good in a love story. Yeah. Now, as a writer, you mentioned, you write this entire series yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have all of the control of the messaging. Yes. And the main character is vegan and gluten-free. Correct. Let's take a look at this clip from season two. Hi, Vivi. Hello, Olivia. Hi, come on in. Hi. Everyone's just settling in. I help yourself to some food. Oh, I picked up some gluten-free treats for you, Vivi. Oh, thanks. You know, you really didn't have to. I hope they're okay. They had the certified gluten-free sticker on the box, but I wasn't sure, so I called the company, and there's no wheat, oats, barley, or any other type of gluten at the facility where they're made. Oh, you really didn't have to go through all that trouble, Lauren. They're also dairy-free, egg-free, and nut-free. Excuse me, just a moment. That was strange. So why make that choice to make the character echo your real life? Was that inspired by real life? Um, actually, no, because uh, the actress that plays Lauren is also a USC grad and great friend. And no, it was just because I'm tired of the gluten-free buzzword that is out there. And I've been a vegan for 13 and a half years, and I've been gluten-free for eight years. And so when I became gluten-free, you couldn't even find that word on the internet. I think the most I found was wheat-free. So I kind of wanted to use the opportunity to educate a little bit on food and just what it means, like what the symptoms, we have an episode where I talk about the symptoms and that's in episode four, kind of like real conversations I've had in real life where people ask and they wanna know and I feel like I'm quite an expert on the topic now. So any chance to educate, I like to do. Now, 
Does the diet extend to the entire set? Is it a gluten-free vegan set? Um, not always, but I will say that when it comes to snack food, we definitely do almost entirely gluten-free, and we do a little bit of product placement in the show as well with gluten-free companies that are 100% gluten-free, the facilities are safe. I mean, there's, there's a big thing with allergens and like how to go about that. So yeah, um, the set, we have a lot of gluten-free snacks. I try to introduce things and make it friendly, but no, you know, I'm, I'm the only one who's like really strict, but we've had a lot of people come on with different dietary needs, dairy intolerant or, you know, gluten intolerant or something like that. So I try to accommodate and be really understanding about those kind of things. <laughs> so we can definitely look forward to more of that gluten-free veganism education yes. in season three. Yes, absolutely. And a lot more different products I, I kind of feature this season too. All right. Yeah. So for season three, are you dropping an entire season at once, binge style or episode oh, by I episode? I don't know. Do you have a preference? I like to binge. I'm a I binger. Like to, I like to binge too. I don't know. Uh, right now, I don't know. I do know that I want to have all the episodes done at once. Just, you know, all made before we start, you know. We haven't done the binging. I don't know. I keep thinking about it. But uh, right now, you know, youtube.com slash broken at love is probably the best place to find any any of our stuff and to subscribe and then you'll you'll know if I drop it at once if you do that. Well, I'm hooked. I'm really excited. I need to know what happens with Holden and all of that. So whether it's the first episode or the entire season to binge on. Yeah. My preference. Okay. Uh, when can we catch the premiere? I'm hoping for the summer. We are, I think I told you um, off camera, we're headed to New York. The inspiration did lead uh, to adding New York to the season. We shot a little bit in LA and we're going to go to New York. So that's in the spring when the weather gets better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm hoping if all goes well that before the summer's up, you'll get to see the whole season. I'm glad you mentioned New York. There was one more one yes. more thing I wanted to talk to you about. You have your own production company, so you're financing yes. this yourself. Yes. So are you making a living on the web series? How's that work? Well, right now there's a lot of production costs still involved with making the show, but I will say that it's proving that it's, it's worth making. And so uh, for season three, we're kind of expanding to merchandise and some other fun things that kind of go with our whole heartbreak theme. And so, yeah, we've had requests for shirts and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, we're financing it ourselves. But um, I think if you wait around for someone else to make your passion project, it's never going to get made. So you really, if you believe in something, you got to go out and make it yourself. Very true. I'm already Team Chase, so Team Chase t-shirt. Are Maybe you? That's an really? Idea. Okay. Yeah, already. So. That's the character I could not cast with my life. <laughs> he's cute. You saw him in the, yeah, in the clip. Yeah. He's super cute. And he's not holding. So mm -hmm. he's already I like wet. that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for our time with Carolina. Keep watching The Buzz for everything you need to know about the Grammys. And make sure to follow us on Twitter at USC The Buzz. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you.